Coming up on Press This, we finally close out our membership plugin series by looking at WPMU's membership plugin. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, Happy New Year. Happy New Year as well. Almost. Tonight. Tonight. Anyway, welcome to Press This. This is the show where we're going to bring you awesome WordPress stuff, whether it be putting plugins head-to-head, themes head-to-head, anything else WordPress related, we're going to talk about it. Whatever it may be. And today we're actually talking about membership plugins. We're continuing our trend here. We've talked about lots of them in the past, over the past month or so, and we're kicking in the new year. With the look at our last, probably our last membership plugin we're going to talk about before we sort of do a nice big old recap on them. Mm -hmm. Uh, And this one's called Membership. It's by the ever important in the WordPress community, ever popular WPMU dev. Awesome. And um, we've looked at their stuff in the past, I I think with uh, e-commerce, their e-commerce plugins. We did Market Press, yep. Yep. So this is a plugin that you can score for twenty nine bucks. Nineteen bucks. Nineteen bucks. Yeah. If you just want the plugin, mm-hmm. uh, but if you want to be part of their membership, uh, where, where you get access to everything, um, right? That's the twenty nine bucks a month or thirty nine bucks a it's month. It's thirty nine fifty a month. Um, so what they basically do, it's a really cool ecosystem. We talk about. We talked the uh, the other day about whether it be you know paying for support or paying for the plugin, one or the other. This is a very interesting mix of the two where you basically, there's actually three different ways to get this. If you go on the repository for WordPress, um, you can get just the free version. You can pay $19 one-time fee for the membership plugin in its entirety. Or because WPMU Dev has more plugins like MarketPress, you can pay $39.50 a month for absolutely everything they offer you, Mm -hmm. all their plugins. Um, And what's really cool about this, just to kind of start things off, is we talk about ecosystems all the time, this sort of um, ability to talk, almost like an Adobe Bridge, if you're familiar with you know, the graphic design suite, Adobe Suite. Um, you can actually sort of integrate different components of each plugin into one, one giant package. So for example, in this one, you can take their famous BuddyPress system and you can import groups and things like that into membership and into subscriptions and into user levels, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah, I think it's really awesome. 77... Uh, thousand downloads uh, of the free version yeah, uh, out of the out of yeah. the extend out of the WordPress repository, uh, three point nine out of five stars. So doing pretty good. Of course, WPMU very well supported uh, from their mm-hmm. team um, and community. So diving into uh, the 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 pro ver- the free versus the pro, yeah. you're going to get unlimited memberships out of the pro. You're going to get unlimited subscription levels. Uh, you are going to get those Buddy Press rules that yeah. you just talked about. Yeah. Uh, Buddy Press is a separate system, great for uh, a separate plugin, great for creating almost like a social network out of a box. I believe that's right. how they pitch it. Uh, someday we should take a look that's at. So I'd pitch it. Yeah, we'll <laughs> take a look at that someday. Some uh, someday we should take a look at it and maybe even have uh, JJJ, our good buddy on Twitter, uh, come on and talk about it since he is the mastermind behind it. He's the he's the evil mastermind there. You uh, go. Administration <laughs> area and rules and all that good stuff. So. Workflow is important. We installed this plugin. Mm-hmm. There was a quick uh, setup quick tutorial. Quick guide, yeah. Uh, few, few steps to take, and it was 11 steps. Yeah. So it wasn't as quick as we thought. Yeah. Um, although good on their part for putting that in. It almost looks like it might be a last-minute thing because they realize how heavy this workflow yeah. is. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. membership plugins has been, or at least for my sake, mm-hmm. not a developer, right. not a designer. Right. I want to get folks up and running as fast right. as possible with these plugins. The reason why I'm using a plugin is because I don't want to build the functionality. I don't want right. to source building the functionality. Right. So I want to buy a plugin and want to get it going. Mm-hmm. With membership plugins, super important that you get that workflow down. Yeah. And that's where my that's where I've been putting my points uh, yeah. in, into which plugins I like the most. And 11 steps, a bit much for me. A bit much. Um, also, it's very, very um, heavy the way it even displays its content. Um, there's a lot of different setting steps that you have just looking down them and sort of like that English school teacher told you in, in high school or middle school, not starting your paragraphs with, you know, I, 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 I it's edit members, edit levels, edit subscriptions. There's a lot of just stuff in here. And when we finally got it to work, it was great. Like mm-hmm. it worked flawlessly. We, you know, tried with different users. We created different account levels, things like that. It worked great. 
But I think we can agree that uh, initially getting that to happen required going to maybe visiting four or five different pages, disabling and enabling things and doing all kinds of other stuff. Yeah, I mean, step number one is, again, good on their part. They say plan, plan, <laughs> plan. And that's exactly what you need to do with membership plugins. You right. have to have a plan. Right. Again, right. that's why the workflow of your membership plugin is super, yeah. super important. Right. So we stumbled a little bit. Um, God, it would it'd be great if these membership plugins and any kind of extensive plugin just had a step-by-step -step one page yeah. that, you, that you pull up and it yeah. just you, it brings you down the list of the most important things. You have to open up links in another right. page. Like, you know, step right. number two, create your categories. You have to click on the, yeah. gives you a link to the category yeah. section, but you got to click it, then you got to go off, then you got to come back. And of course, you, of course, you can open up another tab. Yeah. But let's, let's face it. I mean, a lot of us are small business owners. We're not, you know, we're not used to this whole navigating things, or, you right. know, navigating around and right. just need more concise and, and mm -hmm. much more cleanliness to our uh, setup pages. So, yeah. but once we did get it up and running, it was, it was great. It was great. It worked really well. Yeah. Um, the levels settings page is, is kind of interesting with the drag yeah, and drop. It's really cool. So you basically drag and drop the, um, the different, the different things in there. So basically what happens is you can organize it by categories, tags, pages, posts, all kinds of things, the buddy press groups, things like that. Um, which we didn't get access to. We didn't have right. the full version. We're just the full version. Yeah. Take a looking at the, at the, at the free one, at the free one for now, but we, the, we, we saw what the differences were going to be within the plugin. So what you basically do is you basically, um, you have a positive rules and a negative rules. That section. threw me off a little bit. The positive. And the negative. It was a little bit of a throw off, throw off, but if you, you know, what you basically do, it is kind of nice. What you basically do is you set a level. So let's, we, we, we did bronze, uh, just to give it a shot. And what you basically do is, you know, you can check certain you drag the pages box in there and we're happy we'll have a video i'm sure while we're explaining this to you on the on the final video product here but um what you're basically going to do is you're going to check the box of the page that you want them to have access to and what that automatically tells your system is that every other page that isn't checked is not going to be displayed on the other end of the spectrum if you choose the negative condition and i was to check a couple of pages only those pages would be eliminated from the from the page when you viewed it. Everything else would be shown. Yeah, and when I went into it, I was thinking, for whatever reason, I yeah. think uh, because of paid membership pro might do this, where you can have tiered memberships. Right. Where you're a member of one group, kind of like CSS. So you're a member right. of one group, but if you're a member of this other group, the the um, the permissions flow down. Right, the flow so, down of permissions. That was really cool. I believe that was PM Pro. I'll have to double check that. Yeah. Uh, so initially I thought, well, okay, so are we setting up like a flow? Yeah. Like if you're a membership, if you're a member of this level, then you're not going to get access to this. And I was saying this would be pretty cool, but then it wasn't working that way. So then it was just confusing. Um, right. But, you know, other than that, uh, everything, you know, is, is great. You can, you, you know, add downloads and short codes, uh, you know, right into those, uh, or create sh custom short codes for each membership short level. Codes for membership can levels. Wrap yeah. content. Oh yeah. Why would you want to use short codes on a content page? Well, let's say you had, I don't know, like 20 pages or like this bullet, <laughs> yeah. bullet point thing list. You can actually wrap certain elements right. in short codes and everyone would see that page, but only those members would actually see what's in between short those short codes. codes. Short codes. Um, Couple quick call outs because I don't think we mentioned them. Uh, we keep talking about content dripping. You're probably sick of hearing us talk about it, but I'm not. So I'm going to keep talking about it. Uh, with the content drip, um, there really wasn't, at least for, for my view here, wasn't really a, an eloquent option for that. And the other thing I did want to call out was the uh, payment gateways, just to kind of let you guys know if you do get the free version, you are limited to PayPal Express. Um, if you get the paid version, the $19 one or a part of that ecosystem we talked about, you get PayPal as well as to checkout as well as authorize.net. Those being some of the most, if not the most popular, all the most popular payment gateways. Yeah. So available. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, PayPal is PayPal. I, I don't like it. <laughs> a, yeah. lot of, a lot of developers don't like yeah, it either. We, we switched over to completely just Stripe, Stripe at this point. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so it'd be great if you, you know, if you are leaning towards this plugin to go ahead and get the um, full version so you can get Stripe access. Yeah. And uh, so other than that, yeah, I mean, it, it was a good, it's a good plugin. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't knock me off my seat yeah. yet, except for when we were scratching our heads before. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you're already in the WPMU ecosystem, why not? You're already in there, so there, yeah. you might as well you might as well yeah. use it. Might as well, you know, no need to break off. But um, I would look uh, at other plugins, uh, Pay Membership Pro, uh, Magic, before this. Magic Members, Magic Members was, was also a good one, amazing one that we looked at for different yeah. reasons. So, I mean, I think that's I think 
that's all we're going to record for membership plugins unless unless you guys have something else that we haven't covered uh we have another show fresh dev where scott brought us down a path yeah. of creating our own membership section right. with just a few snippets of code mm-hmm. um kind of interesting if you're looking for that free route right um and without a plugin something less heavy right. uh you know but so far i think that paid membership pro and Magic members are are the the best options. The best options so far, and we'll probably go back and maybe put those two head to head to kind of to kind of see uh, where they sure. stand uh, in the battlefield, if you if you will, if you will. So, anyway, folks, uh, we hope that you've enjoyed all of these episodes so far on membership plugins. If you're starting your own membership site. Drop a comment below and yeah. tell us where it is, what it's all about. We love to chat. You'll you'll find that out <laughs> real fast. Dan's a chatter. He's yeah. always on there uh, <laughs> yeah. re, uh, replying to comments. Yeah. Uh, so other big news for 2013, uh, we are going to keep pumping out these shows. Yeah. We've got a lot of great feedback so far. People yeah. are sending us comments, sending us emails, sending mm-hmm. us subs- uh, contact forms. It's been great. Yeah. Some great ideas have come in. Do us a favor. Send this show to somebody that you know loves WordPress. That would be an awesome thing to yeah. do. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button in YouTube. That yeah. always helps. We're going up to almost 10,000 yeah. views so yeah, far on our videos, great. which is going to be great. Yeah. Um, check out our site, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe so that you can get these videos in your inbox. Absolutely. So you know right when they're released or other insider information that we might yeah. have uh, coming out for you. I run another podcast called The Matt Report. Uh, if you are interested in running businesses based on WordPress, and you're making a living using yeah. WordPress, check out my show, mattreport.com. Yeah. I'm interviewing, uh, I just interviewed yeah. Jason Coleman yeah. of Paid Membership Pro. I got Pippin's plugins coming yeah. in two days uh, to talk about his plugin business. So yeah. good stuff for 2013. Can't wait. It's, it's going to be, be awesome. It's going to be a great year. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be a great It is going to be a great year, Dan. Yeah. And we hope that you join us uh, in the new year. Again, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe and we'll see you in 2013 see you next year take care coming up (laughs) coming up on press this we close out the new the new year coming up on press this we finally close out our membership series looking at coming up on press this we close out the year 2012 with our look at the last membership plugin we're going to talk about (laughs) <laughs> that didn't go out right at all. It's like a uh, diarrhea. And you just <laughs> diarrhea of the mouth. And then you just... <laughs>